Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial. I wanna talk about how to export your mesh correctly uh, from Maya and ZBrush to Marvelous Designer to make it work correctly. So I load this demo soldier inside of ZBrush. I load it. Press delete other. Go to polygroups. I group visible that get rid of subdivisions as well okay I press go Z to send that into Maya or just simply press export to send that into Maya so I wait okay go to poly modeling click on this cube go to translate y and type 90 x y z 180 and 180 and 180 okay to see what we are doing I press 4 select the demo soldier press space click on this Maya go to the left view press W I zoom out press E and I want to go to a scale press ER to go to the scale I put him exactly on this box to match uh, with the floor like so so this is correct maybe we could you know enlarge that a little bit there's there is no need to do that very accurate but we're going to make it around 180 if I go to create and go to the measure tools I grab this distance tool I click in here and I hold on shift to have a straight line like so as you can see it is 174 and if I just select this and export to my documents or somewhere else Maya OBJ just export that now I go to marvelous designer okay I import OBJ, go to my documents, Maya OBJ. I keep everything as default, press OK. And it works just fine. And if you want to, you could test it with this, you know, presets. Press no, yes. And exa exactly matches. As you can see, and you can just grab it and just, you know, put it in place or whatever you want to do so this was the Maya one then I explained the ZBrush okay for the ZBrush again it is too easy I click delete other I repeat the same process control W go to Z plugin I go to scale master first i click on this zbrush scale unify to unify the mesh and then i click on this center sub tools to the vault to make sure it is centered and then i click on this uh, centimeters and i click on this sliders to sub tool size to update that size then i come to the y and i type 18 and then I click on this resize sub tool. Now, if I grab my gizmo 3D, I press W, then I press Y to go to the old gizmo and I hold down shift. You can see it is updated and exactly like my I've got 178, right? But unlike the Maya, we have to do another step, which is you know, setting up this guy on the floor he is off the floor 
uh, and we need to make sure he is on the floor so I go to my modifiers and I just increase this axis I turn off the uh, perspective I turn on the floor and I keep this Y on okay so I keep this axis set to 9 just increase this increase this and increase this one to see what I'm doing now if I come back to my gizmo press Y to go back to the gizmo there is another you know line exactly hidden in here if I just grab this and I go up you can see that very clear now all we need to do is just put him exactly on this line so I just zoom in like so and it is all set up now we need to test that ZBrush OBJ go back to MD keep everything as default okay now it's working perfectly fine can test it no yes and as you see it is working just fine okay uh, this was very quick tips how to do that very easily and very quickly thank you very much and see you in the next one do not forget to subscribe thank you very much